enterprises in case where they can't access banking or any other related services microfinance provides assistance to the poor section of society to overcome poverty and helps in economic development microfinance not only provides credit to smes but also includes other services like insurance savings and remittances now i am going to focus on how does microfinance helps in sustainable development sustainable development is all about microfinance posters financial inclusion by providing low interest micro loans and micro insurance products which help reduce poverty and promote social economic development allowing people to earn living sustainability and prevent malnutrition importance of sustainability in microfinance institution is enables them to achieve both their long term and short term goals next we will look at objective of the study now i am going to discuss about role of microfinance institution in rural development it act as anti poverty vaccine for the people living in rural areas it aims at supporting communities of economically included to achieve greater level of assets creation and income security at household and community level next i proceed to scope microfinance provides small loans to people in rural areas where supply of financial services are limited in order to motivate and empower people in those areas to start their business which would lead to generation of cash flow at last i want to conclude my topic by saying that we found that uh, microfinance has positive impact on the standard of living of the poor people and on their lifestyle it has not only helped the poor people to come over the poverty line but has also helped them to empower themselves this is study con conclude that microfinance is very necessary in india to achieve Nine, financial eight. inclusion thanks thanks a lot ma'am you can start ma'am yes ma'am i love you ho kya ma uh good evening uh, good afternoon to everyone i dr nidhi goenka from maharaja agresen international college raipur presenting my paper on study on current and potential views on content marketing towards brand in raipur city next my paper has been divided into many parts that is a introduction then the objectives of the study then research methodology after that the the hypothesis is there and the basic form of this paper is that is your uh, conceptual paper is been made in uh, content marketing content marketing is the part that we will trust among customers by answering the questions what is content marketing first we have to know about the content marketing uh, today after the covid the media medium of uh, circulating the information regarding the product to the customers we are using uh, the marketers are using many modes to provide knowledge about the products to the customers in that case uh, content marketing a new path has been come into the market through which the podcasts newsletters with the help of which they are sharing their information to the people who are uh, they are the yeah, we can say that the consumers who are the buyers of the product they are getting or or we can say the target group of the market customers ma'am next slide why content marketing to provide the knowledge and to give valuable contents to the customers for to motivate their rational decision for rational decision regarding the products or brand of the product 
which they want to produce, uh, which they want to buy. Next. Objectives of the study. My first objective is to know the insight about the techniques of content marketing. Second, to understand the significance of content marketing in the present scenario. To pursue the knowledge about companies that option for content marketing. And the last is to acquire knowledge about the strategies used to create awareness for the product through content marketing. Next slide, ma'am. Significance of the study. The main emphasis is, emphasis is on tools or benefits which the marketers are getting to the target customers by fulfilling their expectations. And the process expands customers' reliance and credibility towards the numerous Indian brands' products. Ma'am, next. Research methods. This study is done on blend of secondary data and the data are gathered through companies' website, literature reviews, and other related research materials for collection this uh, data. And uh, review, through review of literature, uh, 32 literatures have been reviewed for this paper. Next. Ma'am, next. Hypothesis has been built up uh, on according to the objectives. My first hypothesis is it builds social interaction of customers with product brand. And the second is through entertainment, it provides us information to buyers. And the hypothesis has been proved by the statement by uh, reviewing the various types of literatures which are being used for uh, concluding this paper. Next. Next, ma'am. Next. Findings. The result indicate the comprehensive overview on how the content marketing influences the buying behavior of customers. The qualitative method is used to understand the respondents' attitudes, buying behavior, and interaction with the products. In this study, evaluation is done on the basis of hypothetical situation. Sorry to interrupt, but there is a query. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, Nelly. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Your topic uh, that has been mentioned is study and current and potential issues on content marketing marketing towards brands in Raipur City. Yes. Why sir. you have put Raipur City in the topic? So, uh, as per the uh, Raipur is also going towards the uh, we can say develop uh, the most of the growth and development has been done in the Raipur city and uh, Raipur is also uh, likely to we can see likely to be it be as a metro city converting into metro that's why I'm taking the city itself. Just, just a few. So far, as you were uh, giving presentations, I just heard that you have taken up the data for this study. Yeah. That is why I am asking this question. So, your topic is doubtful in that sense. Okay, sir. If you have taken up secondary data, how do you can do Sir, I had been uh, done the study on the conceptual paper, and uh, that has been taken from the previous literatures uh, that I have taken 32 journal papers. From that, okay, this type okay, of. Okay. I got it. You yes. Take up the journal papers. And that paper was reviewed by you. So where do paper come from? There? Oh, so I haven't uh, added in these uh, slides. No, so, so no, really. So the new paper liye the, the paper kind of thing public liye hoga. Ye paper to do sakte the, foreign paper to do sakte. So your paper is a uh, compilation review paper. It is a review test paper. Secondary data based paper that you have mentioned. When you are speaking up while giving presentation, so you cannot put a good city in your back. And the first thing you are talking your study is based on content marketing. Uh, yes, sir. First thing. Second thing, uh, you have mentioned current and potential issues. But not uh, concluding from those things. You are talking about only content marketing. And uh, the way you have uh, just uh, uh, tested the hypothesis, I am not satisfied with that. Because on the basis of secondary data, uh, if you are going to test the hypothesis, you apply some qualitative techniques over the data that you have taken from the literature review. So, 
then you can have our user code as our and how many researchers have taken what there is the whether that was supported or not that you have not done. I hope you are getting getting me. Uh, sir, clearly I'm not audible to, uh, I'm not getting your voice clear. I am getting your voice clear. This is the thing that uh, that most of the scholars say when they are, they are, given, they are being given the suggestion uh, by the expert, they say hey, your voice is not audible. I am no, sir, no, sir, sir. Sir, sir, I am. Uh, or you are audible to me, but uh, there is a, some problem. I think so. It is not clear. But I understand what you have been said to me. आपने कहा कि सर रायपुर एक तो आपने कहा मेरा टॉपिक जो रिलेट हो रहा है वो रायपुर सिटी से थोड़ा सा कोरिलेट नहीं हो रहा है. रायपुर सिटी नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि वो सेकेंडरी डेटा बेस है कस्टमर का सर्वे तुमने नहीं किया. And you are not talking about potential views in the current year. You are talking about ब्रांड्स कॉमर्स डिपार्टमेंट आई विल शेयर माई पीपीटी फर्स्ट Yes, I am audible to everyone. I am audible. I am audible. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, first of all, very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I am. I am research scholar, PhD research scholar of Vishwabharati University, West Bengal. Now I would like to present the topic: uh, solar energy adoption in India. a comparative analysis across states with a focus on west bengal first uh, solar energy development is paramount for india to achieve environment friendly energy and to fulfill sustainable development goals the government set the target in 2015 to achieve 175 giga gigawatt of renewable energy by 2022 and 100 gigawatt only from solar power to fulfill this target different policies have been taken by the government of india in line with the central government the state also developed policies different policies to promote solar energy to meet this target the 10 states have the significant contribution towards renewable energy development according to ministry of new and renewable energy report 2021-22 the 10 states that uh, rajasthan karnataka gujarat tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana madhya pradesh maharashtra andhra pradesh and punjab have the most significant contribution towards renewable energy development and uh, out of the uh, re entire renewable energy development in 2022 uh, uh, almost 39.92% contribution was from solar energy and in 2022 the contribution of solar energy to total renewable energy development was nearly 50% indicating that among other renewable solar, uh, solar energy wind biomass uh, solar mm. energy becomes most favorable for its nature uh, among the consumers now going to the second slide uh, table 1 uh, table 1 shows the percentage growth of solar installation in total renewable energy development from 2009 to 2022 in different states of india and the table exhibits a steady increase in and from 2012 
we see that after 2012, the uh, solar power installation in total renewable energy contribution was highest. Now, state government with the approval of central government has sanctioned many solar power related policies for increasing renewable energy generation in India and meeting the sustainable development goals. In, in the state level policies, uh, only a few states have play, played a critical role in green energy development and adopted suitable policies for developing renewable energy. One report published by IMBAR, a data analysis explorer on 17 March 2022-23, a recent article highlighted that India's solar and wind dominated India's alternative energy capi uh, capacity additions in 2022 and Rajasthan and Rajasthan, Karnataka and Gujarat are ahead of solar energy development and also added a prediction that Rajasthan and Gujarat will continue to lead India's renewable capacity additions by 2030. Northern, Southern and Western states mark the achievement we see that in table two. Uh, northern, southern, and western states mark the achievement from solar energy development, and the central, eastern, and southern eastern states with solar potential. We see that the solar potential uh, of the states central, eastern, and southeastern state have no such satisfactory outcome for renewable energy development. Uh, there may be some reasons. There may be some reasons for not improving solar solar policy. Uh, there may be due to lack of policy framework and implementation, lack of funding, lack of execu execution of framework based on needs of states, lack of uh, loan facilities of states, lack of effort and monitoring the project uh, for implementation. This is from the study of East State Solar Policy. Table, uh, figure one, figure one shows that, that the top five states of solar installation, uh, these are, uh, uh, of installed capacity in India in 2021-22, Rajasthan has the maximum installed capacity, uh, followed by Karnataka, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh. This is the uh, again the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy annual report. These are the five states 2021-22 report. These are the five states are ahead of solar energy development. Now. Uh, table 10 to 17 shows the policy prescription of each states. These are the top five states. I already mentioned uh, Rajasthan, Karnataka, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh. And there is the each states policy prescriptions. Now, uh, slide 19 shows the comparison of solar, uh, solar energy policy adopted in the top five states with West Bengal and with the comparison of five states, West Bengal still needs, still needs large utility based grid projects and uh, implementation of grid connected uh, solar power. And the one thing, more solar photovoltaic state lights should be developed compared to Tamil Nadu. We see from the solar state lights was 14,000, 41,000, whereas um, in West Bengal, uh, 17,750. And Tamil uh, and West Bengal also implementing grid-based agricultural farms along with off-grid solar farms because excess energy demand from solar photovoltaic can transfer to the grid and the time when solar farms will not be required for irrigation purpose, this excess energy will be transferred to the grid and total solar power to the contribution of uh, conventional energy will be increased.
now various policies are implemented for the development of renewable energy though we are found that uh, there are still less development of solar power in our india there may be the following factors are responsible for the development for the less development of solar power these factors are technological factors uh, here mainly i mentioned the 10 factors which are responsible for less development of solar power in india uh, these are the technological factors economic factors social factors can i can i highlight this all the factors or only mention the name of the factors which are responsible for the less development of so can i uh, uh, can i explain i am audible to you uh, to everyone can i explain this factors? okay no need to explain Okay, okay. There is enough scope. For energy. Yes, now I am on the conclusion part. There is enough scope for energy development in India and more emphasis is needed on developing solar energy. Already I mentioned the or, or, above the four uh, renewable energy, solar energy had the great contribution on renewable energy development. And so there is need uh, enough scope of, and uh, there is enough scope for renewable energy development in India. So policy implementation should be proper or improved. Uh, under the, the circumstances, Indian, uh, India's tax structure, including GST, should favor for solar energy. It also crucial to develop a proper monitoring mechanism so that the subsidy to be uh, given to the solar power, which is adequately utilized. This would also require appropriate institutional tools so that service for hiring uh, solar energy become possible. Also considering the rise in coal and well pri oil prices over the years, solar energy production should be increased and the government initiative is highly required in this case for providing low cost efficient solar energy for the people of the country thank you thank you now i'd like to call miss vaishali agrahari research scholar and assistant professor in the department of policy management dr sikita university Sandhya Shashi, Assistant Professor JN College, Ranchi University, Chhatra.
afternoon delegates and my fellow colleagues. My topic for uh, paper presentation uh, Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, a greater uh, initiative towards financial inclusion. Firstly, I would like to introduce what is financial inclusion. In general words, financial inclusion basically uh, relates to including all the finance, all the excluded section of the society to the mainstream finance. Financial inclusion, the term financial inclusion is not new in, the, in our country. It has been going around since 1969 when the government uh, finalized the uh, of nationalizing uh, banks. In, the bank nationalization of banks was uh, particularly done to uh, help the industries to uh, easily manage their finances. But now, in recent trends, uh, in uh, further more years, the government has now uh, focused on including the uh, uh, unbanked population into the mainstream finance. For this, Pradhan uh, Mantri many of the uh, Financial inclusion schemes have been introduced. Out of which, Pradhan Mantri Jantan Yojana is the most successful by far. Uh, it was introduced uh, by uh, uh, our Prime Minister PM Narendra Modi on 2014 in his first Independence Day speech. And uh, since then, uh, it has been uh, a great, uh, greater initiative towards financial inclusion. Mainly, it, it uh, focuses on opening bank accounts. And for that, it was given the term BSB, Basic Savings Bank Deposits Account, where there is no need of maintaining their balances in the uh, account, which we in uh, general terms refer to as zero balance account. Also, pay cards are issued through which they can easily transact and take their money out. Accidental insurance cover has also been provided to the population of up to three students which they can get benefit of. And um, uh, the objectives of the of this particular study are focused, the particular study is focused upon the progress of Pradhan Mantri Tantan Yojana in financial inclusions for which next slide objectives. To study the next. Next. To study the progress of the For this, I have an analysis of the uh, number of uh, bank accounts opened in the, under this scheme and uh, number of the debit cards issued throughout the years. For which the data is available from 2015 till 2022. And next of the appearance of the performance of this scheme uh, in the year 2017 and in the year particularly 2022. Uh, the most recent data I could get of was the, uh, from the year 2022. And to make the comparative analysis, in the next slides we can see I have uh, uh, analyzed the uh, operability of accounts. Mostly what happens is that uh, on paper we see most of our accounts, the uh, opening uh, number of accounts is very high and from there we can easily judge that this scheme is successful. But what actually needs uh, for these uh, schemes to be successful is what is the operability of the accounts. Please go to the next slide. Okay. Here, uh, the number of PMPPI accounts we can see from this, it has been increased since the uh, introduction of the policy. Also, the deposits and number of credit cards are also accordingly increasing for the years. Next slide, please. But here, if we compare the Jandan accounts and operating Jandan accounts, then we can easily uh, the difference between both the accounts. Which totally means that the Jandan accounts are uh, the people are opening Jandan accounts, but actually they are not uh, able to use the benefits of it. Most, uh, main, there can be many reasons uh, behind it. The government provides all facilities to the population, but what happens is that the uh, population is not very aware of it. 
the government for increasing the opportunity of our council to introduce bank mitra facility where uh, through this it has uh, introduced the idea of uh, business, uh, introducing business correspondence in all banks whether the uh, it has uh, whether they are the private bank public bank or self help groups the bank function of bank mitra is to help and assist uh, the the public to provide the benefits of to uh, inform the uh, uh account holders about the benefits so what happens is that uh, mostly most of the time people do not approach the bank mitra for this the what government can do is it can introduce the idea that bank mitra can go to the door of uh, janan account holders to introduce the them with the benefits of the account because here we can see in each year the number of janan accounts are increasing but the operative the difference between uh, janan accounts and operative janan accounts is not getting uh, any better so for this the government can make they can try more uh, in uh, reducing this difference this is all about my presentation can easily see that the yes although the uh, janan yojana scheme is quite successful in india but uh, we need to be and uh, we need to uh, 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 make aware the population about the scheme benefits also government needs to uh, introduce some uh, more uh, consumer friendly Practices which can be uh, used, which can be which can prove uh, easy for account holders to access them. Thank you, Vaisha. Next, Sakhan Solanki Research Scholar at Kalyan DG College will be speaking on a study of financial performance using ratio analysis of Steel Authority of India. My name is Sakan Solanki. I am a research scholar from Kalyan Postgraduate College. My guide is Dr. Pima Devi and with the co-guidance of Dr. Suresh Akhil from Kalyan College. Um, my topic is to study financial performance using ratio analysis of the operator in India. As everyone who are present here are well aware about the term shield, how it looks like, and if I consider the macro view, whole world are using shield for their survival. Shield become an important resource for human being. The usage of shield is many more like in, we use shield in medical equipment, agriculture equipment, uh, construction of bridges, building. Automobiles and household utensils. Uh, in today's world, uh, steel has become important uh, resources in our economic life. As we are using, uh, uh, if I say in very basic term, a small middle is also made up of steel. The demand of the steel is elastic because as we as the uh, as the price increases or decreases in the price of steel, we cannot see as much. Uh, Greater demand of uh, demand in steel, right? Uh, in the last uh, 10 to year, uh, 10 to 12 years, India saw an increment in the demand of steel. Uh, production has increased by 75 percent since 2008, which is 50 uh, percent more in current year. The capacity for producing steel has grown constantly, and the rise has been large. Steel consumption is widely taken as a indicator of economic development. Means when we uh, uh, hear uh, the term includes per capita consumption, per capita consumption means on an average, on an average, 
how much of how much amount of steel is consumed by the per person the use of metal has been one of the primary sources of energy and still occupies a prominent position among metals india now becomes the second largest producer of crude steel uh, by beating japan uh, earlier japan was in the second position but now it is acquired by india <clears throat> According to the data released by Minister of Steel, the per capita steel consumption in the world is around 2000 kg. Please consider here this this kg is belongs to the world consumption, not in India. But uh, further, however, the per capita consumption of steel in India is around 37.2 kg. This means on an average, a person utilizes uh, 37.2 kg of steel in in their whole life. To support steel industry, the government of India or National steel policy in 2017, which aims to increase per capita consumption of steel consumption up to 160 kg by 2020 to 2031. Sale operates and owns five integrated steel plants at Bilai, Rawal Kela, Dudapur, Bokaro, and Bandhu, and three special steel plants at Salis, Dudapur, and Bhadravati. Steel operator India is a central policy sector undertaking great initiatives under the leadership of Minister of Steel Government of India. With an annual turnover of this one lakh three thousand four hundred crore, and it was incorporated in the year nineteen seventy three. My research objective is to analyze the profile of the operator of India to evaluate the company's financial performance by using different measures to identify areas of weakness and suggest measures. Uh, my my research is based on uh, secondary uh, secondary data. For this, I have uh, used annual reports of the company and the website of the Minister of Steel. The time period of is uh, five years, starting from 2017 and ends in 2022. Statistical tool uh, to analyze the financial performance of the company. The statistical tool which I I use is the mean, standard deviation, and variances. Limitation. The current study is based on five-year period, uh, starting from 2017 to 2022, for financial analysis of Black, sorry, Steel Authority of India. Belongs to the industrial steel production. From as you see, just yeah, give us that. This previous uh, one, one more. It's a current ratio with ratio data turnover ratio net profit ratio and. Uh, सो करंट रेट इमाम करंट रेशियो लिक्विडिटी चेक करने के लिए आ गए सो इमाम विक रेशियो Yes, 
तो वो कनेक्शन ज्यादा अच्छा दिखा लाइक यू आर सेइंग द थैंक यू टू हां अभी कितना अभी तो हमने कब से आगे हमने इसको पोस्ट कर दिया जैसे हम पीपीटी वगैरह देते हैं पोस्ट में विजुअल होने के लिए रिलेशन आई वाज थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट ओनली फर्स्ट देन आई वाज थॉट इट इज लाइक क्या चाइल्डिश पार्ट देन वी कैन गेट द इंटरनेशनल कॉल वो चाइल्डिश Is my screen visible? Is my screen visible? Can you start? Okay. Okay. Uh, Manisha, can you start? 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 Can you New to one system, ma. Either your phone or laptop. And we are not able to hear you properly. Your voice is cracking. Now your voice is clear, ma. Ma, your voice is not coming to hear anything. Hello. 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 basically my topic is related to natural long, uh, language processing and uh, because people are expressing their reviews on uh, social media sites so i have chosen my topic as uh, using machine learning approaches how do we analyze the reviews so that the reviews can be exactly predicted into positive negative or neutral reviews when we talk about uh, natural language processing using machine learning techniques basically the idea is to get the information exactly how it is expressed because uh, the machine cannot understand uh, unstructured data so it has to be converted into a proper format so that exact information can be found out from that reviews so basically my study is from trip advisor where uh, people are expressing their reviews 
uh, TripAdvisor is the largest online travel site in the world with roughly having 1.4 million voters review. So using this particular data set and applying machine learning techniques, we have taken uh, the data from there and analyzed the data using uh, machine learning approaches. So brief literature survey, uh, review, uh, survey that I have done there are many reviews uh, where the data set has been taken, MB reviews, Amazon reviews, and they have used a lead proceed to a proposed model. Hello? Uh, Ma'am, please proceed to a proposed model used okay. in the So, uh, my proposed model includes uh, that instead of having two, three evaluation metrics, the proposed model is uh, the work proposes a method to predict the opinion of the customer using various aspects of any hospitality industry that is open through the customer text review. Each text review has been pre-processed using Python and PEF IDF value of every word has been computed. The generated feature vector was provided to ensemble learning method where we have used linear regression, SVM, decision tree, random forest, naive base, and KNN machine learning techniques combined together to find out the exact value of the review. So from that uh, particular aspect, I have calculated and I have found that this is the proposed method where we can use these many classifiers together to find out the proposed model's values. And so in the future, we can use even a better learning scope and aspects of each particular review can be calculated. Thank you. Ma'am, how come your research is helping the future experts? Because uh, we are taking data from the TripAdvisor. It has been shared in Kaggle.com in 2021 only. And this particular outcome can be conveyed to the uh, proposed stakeholders of those hotels where it can be shown and that data can be used because these people can uh, improve upon their services. Market values can be increased and uh, we can have a better idea of, uh, as a customer, we can have a better idea of how and where we can go when we are using our um, this thing, uh, itineraries for traveling. Traveling, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the presentation. It was a very good topic that you have chosen. I think Thank my... I have one query. In out of it. Thank I you. have one query. Can I explain your proposed? Can you explain your proposed model? On which learning method it, it is depend? There are different machine learning method map. This is my first paper. So using these machine learning techniques, I have calculated the values, and it can be further improved to get the further data. And your proposed model based on which technique? These combination of these idea. previous studies, some had taken linear regression and SVM method, some had taken a combination of uh, naive-wise and random forest method. So I have tried to create an ensemble learning model using all these techniques together and find an average value. Okay, your training data set published now? Yes, Training data set? Training data set? How many we candidates have taken are it from, huh, the 17 to 30 percent that I have taken from TripAdvisor. It is available on Kaggle. Okay, thank you. Next, Nimisha Banal. Nimisha Banal. Uh, is Nimisha present over there? Will you please come up for the presentation? Nimisha, are you there? Your voice is not coming. Arenu, ma'am, please start the presentation if Nimisha, ma'am, is not there. Because you, have, you all have to go for a meeting. So please. Hello. 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 Renu 
हमारी मैम यस मैम थैंक यू सर योर प्रेजेंटेशन गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल यस मैम योर स्क्रीन इज विजिबल स्टार्ट योर प्रेजेंटेशन माय टॉपिक इज अ स्टडी ऑफ द इंपैक्ट ऑफ सोशल कंप्यूटिंग ऑन द बिजनेस इन पटना सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज सोशल कंप्यूटिंग इट इज एन एरिया ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस व्हिच इज कंसर्न द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ सोशल बिहेवियर प्लीज डोंट the content ma'am please don't okay. read the presentation just tell us the brief what you have done in your research paper that's i it. have done in this in our research so what is the impact of uh, social computing in business so i am using in this model in this uh, project uh, some models used in uh, uh, navy bears or decision trees and random for forest so i have to use these models uh, methods in our projects in our papers um what the first model any algorithm that you have used in your research paper is there anything new sorry to interrupt sorry to interrupt uh, rajman uh, please do query with me share with me the interactivity okay ma'am hmm. hello Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. Okay. So now come to the next uh, fundamental research question. What are the percentage of business use social computing application? Do public and private business business different uh, differs in use of social computing application? And uh, once again. How often have social compute computing tools been utilized in business, especially? So we are used in some questionnaire and some data collected to public places and then um, collected data in analyze in methods use uh, some method use uh, balancing method use uh, class weight or over sampling or random over sampling methods used in this project. and then con conclusion social computing is a modern technology trends that allow the companies to take over the market social computing is considered as an innovative and enhanced technology to run business organization so most of business nowadays are running all kinds of application in the cloud like accounting custom built communication application development productivity etc so cloud based services are easy to afford for any kind of business as the customer need to pay only as per use thank you what is the conclusion what effect your method on marketing after effect of your uh, research and all except raj share my screen now hello hello yes i'll start presenting yes uh hello uh, hello everybody i am nimisha malan i am a research scholar uh, i am doing phd in uh, computer science from patna university 
my uh, guide is um, professor dr krishnanand prasad associate professor department of mathematics pps college patliputra university patna i am going to present my topic uh, my uh, paper on the topic big data in education I'll start with the introduction of big data. Big data is enormous volume is denoted by the prefix huge. The term big data has become incredibly well known in the past few years. Almost all research areas, whether they are connected to business or academia, produce and analyze large data for a variety of reasons. The most challenging task is managing this large collection of organized and unorganized data. Many technologically advanced applications and softwares that can utilize top-notch computational power swiftly and economically for such operations because vast amounts of data cannot be managed but using ordinary software. Objectives. The objectives of uh, my research topic are to focus on the impact of big data on education sector, to learn how many individuals anticipate big data in the near future, to learn more about the big data's various features and benefits, to learn how to integrate big data analytics into the educational system. What big data can do for education system? Big data is used by teachers to analyze students' performance, uh, performance data and spot opportunities for deeper involvement in processes. To improve the curriculum, they could, for, for instance, analysis, uh, analyze enrollment levels, dropout, dropout rates, and student achievement rates. Big data analytics enables teachers to modify their lesson plans as necessary to provide the best possible short-term student outcomes. We can monitor prospective students online social uh, students online social media and mobile behavior cookies can be used to retarget advertisements to visitors who already visited the college's website when they visit other websites this may raise the actual number of students and as a result enhance revenue teachers can make use of information to improve the learning environment benefits of big data in higher education Identify the areas in which big data can be used to identify the areas in which students succeed or need more assistance. Understanding specific needs and creating the best personalized education techniques are made easier with the help of individually determined patterns. It helps students choose the best teachers more quickly. It keeps track of the activities of the students including how long they take, the sources they use to prepare, the themes they ignore, and the other details. Big data can be used to monitor students' post-graduation careers. Sorry, Mandra, kindly come to your analysis part. Additionally, it would be of great assistance to them. Ma'am, kindly come to your own analysis part. Uh, uh, can you uh, repeat it once again? I could not hear analysis. Your analysis. Okay. Uh, this is the hypothesis. Numerous opportunities have been created by big data analytics for organizations, decision makers, educators, administrators, and students. The possibilities include improved information flow and academic risk would be reduced. Cross institutional collaboration would feel comfortable, learning efficacy would be improved, and cost reduction over organizing financial performance would be possible. With the help of this big data strategy, organizations may stay strong and active in their industries. Additionally, the Hadoop platforms has uh, drawn attention since it offers educational institutions and students a number of benefits. 
methodology, area of study, articles, magazines, newspapers, etc. Data collection. This method involves getting data through publications like articles, magazines, newspapers, and journals. This approach favors already published sources from other academics. This uh, technique can uh, was used to obtain the data for this uh, study. The information was gathered from researchers' written works, and big data analytics was used to present practical answers for information. This is the data. This is an. Uh, an integrated analysis of the uh, data collected. Okay, so the uh, these are the different parameters like familiar familiarity with big data. Students' uh, response was sixty eight point two percent. Institutions' response was forty four point three percent, and teachers' response was sixty six percent. Preference for distance education. Students' response was forty nine point one percent. Institutions response was fifty one point five percent, and teachers response was sixty two point three percent. Affiliated to big data for education, sixty five point five percent was the teacher, uh, students response. Institutions response was twenty five point seven percent, and teachers response was sixty point four percent. Negative or uh, skeptical uh, about big data analytics in uh, education. Students' response was thirty four point five percent. Institutions' response was thirty four sixty four point three percent, and teachers' response was thirty nine point four percent. Now, what is the sample findings? The results of the investigation demonstrated how highly scalable data we have. Show your sample design. Sorry to interrupt. So, uh, show your sample design. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Do you have a sample design? Or training set? No, ma'am. Uh, that I don't have. Come to your conclusion, ma'am. The technical leaps of high-speed communication computing have offered great possibilities for big data analytics. Big data analytics can bring. About great opportunities and innovations for education. For education, the arrival of the big data analytics is thought-provoking and eagerly expected. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Am I audible? Dimisha. Yes, ma'am. Am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. Please tell me which type of software is required for analyzing big data. Ma'am, we can use uh, Hadoop. Uh, tools like Hadoop can be used to, uh, to analyze big data. We are using which type of uh, software and tool for handling that type of data? Ma'am, we can use different types of uh, there are different types of tools in big data. Like Hadoop is there, then MapReduce is there. So we can use uh, these types of tools to analyze the data. In your methodology or in on your training set, which tools you had applied? Uh, um, I'll use uh, Hadoop. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Bolie, ma'am. Bolie. Yeah, I'll I'll use hello. Yes, please. Um, you're not audible yes. clearly. Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. As we have come to the end of this session, I would like to call our chair, respective chair, for special presentation. Yeah, uh, more than ten papers. Uh, you have all the participants. Uh, um, most of the papers related to uh, this uh, 
and uh, some of the students uh, belong to the out of state uh, well uh, uh, design your paper and uh, uh, clear the uh, methods who, uh, who have uh, uh, identity uh, papers and uh, uh, some students uh, uh, take a research uh, policy including financial performance using the ratio analysis and the run material yoshna the study of current and potential views and different type of papers like the uh, study on contribution of microfinance institution and uh, um, some people e-banking and its present in the scenario and uh, some papers are the uh, listening to measure the financial collective poverty banks and uh, commercial banks also impact of e-commerce and m-commerce building the pandemic year COVID all of the uh, great uh, in the performance thank you thank you so much ma'am I would now request all the members to move towards the multi-purpose hall for a very brief session. Thanks a lot for concluding the session. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 